Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Pollock and today I want to show you how to do a Bitmoji virtual classroom. This is something that you could use in, a, of course, your Google Classroom with just a few adjustments. It can be used as a Google Classroom header um, or you could save it as a PDF and share it out to your students. It's also something you could just have on the screen if we were actually in the classroom. Um, it's kind of an eye-catching way to put your announcements up on the board. So the way I've done it is each of these books, uh, while not perfectly placed on here, they are linked. Um, so it's certainly, there's lots of potential here. So just how to do this, you wanna start with a blank slide and you go over here and you're gonna search the web for images. And I wanna do not, we're not quite ready for a desk yet, but we're gonna do a wall and floor background and you either want to have background or transparent in your search we'll choose this one here this nice calming blue one you just kind of have to stretch it out a little bit to make it fit your slide okay well here we go um you can see it's got the floor here. So then I wanna start layering um, images on top of that. So from here, I'll look for a desk or I could do shelves or et cetera. So I'm gonna do desk, transparent, and this one here is okay. Click insert. And it's a little big, right? So of course we have to adjust it. And I just want to show you a couple of things here, right? How this happens. Um, when we get the image sort of how we want it, I can right click on the image because while I like it, um, it doesn't seem to be quite right. The color is kind of dull. So if I go down here to the bottom to format options, this is kind of cool. I can uh, change the position of it. I can have it go to the left, to the center, et cetera, of the square. I could recolor it, which is kind of important. Right now it has no recolor, but I'm not a big fan of the brown. So let's say I want to make it a green. Okay, that gives me a lot more choices of what I want to do. I can also change the shadow, the reflection, the position, the angle. Uh, if it were facing left, I could change it to the right, et cetera. Uh, it's the size and rotation. So there's lots of choices here just by right clicking while I'm inside the box. Um, of course, what makes it personal is the Bitmoji. So if you have the Bitmoji extension, uh, and if you don't, you can just add it to your computer. Um, but if we go here, and honestly, clicking on photo or typing in photo is what gives me uh, my Bitmoji while I'm standing up. So this one looks pretty good. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to copy image. I'm going to paste. And then here I am. And if I wanted to shrink myself, see how big I want it to be and place it here. Um, I could also, of course, what I like is uh, you put the order, you send me to the back, send me to the front, so I could be behind the desk, et cetera. Um, what I've done for you is I've made quite, okay, quite a few of examples here for you, kind of built in some backgrounds for you. Um, I like this one here because it's kind of like a stage, so it could be appropriate for anything. Uh, but it might be something that you could incorporate into your classroom.